All right. But uh, I think that's good enough. So Blood Scalp uh, allowing us to walk freely in the docks. Let's go outside. I think we'll see. Hold on. But she's certainly in no rush to do it. Especially since he said, uh, take all the time we want investigating. Shadow Thief. Okay. So looks like we left through the back door. Yeah, so she's not even, uh, going to join Maybar's guild right away. She's going to even delay that. Do that uh, when she's ready to look for an ally in the Shadow Thieves. Oh, here's the uh, Sea Bounties Tavern. Probably stop in here, but I think we want to go to Cromwell's house first. Might end up staying in the docks overnight. Peasant. Where shall I display my skill and expertise? <laughs> and it's empty. What? There's a sailor. Lost child. Well, I guess the child looks lost. What? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Alright, asking where she lives. Of course, Lily uh, does have sympathy for children. The child's saying that they don't live anywhere, they're homeless. I think she's a little suspect, though, that maybe the child's even lying, like uh, street ur urchins might do. So I think she's going to press uh, questions to catch her in a lie if she is. As a little girl, I think she can't uh, <laughs> brush her off. She's going to give her one gold piece. But I think she believes that she's been had. <laughs> she goes into that building. Mavor's Guild Hall. Yeah, it was just a street urchin then. <laughs> All right. I don't think Lily's going to fall for that again. Yes. If my memory serves. Nothing like some time ashore. All I need is some grog and a good lass on me lap. That's uh, another one of the sailors. What is it? Musing about uh, what he needs. Here's a fisherman. All right, so here is uh, Cromwell's, well, shop, I guess. Famous enough, I think. What? You're chattering, starting to wear on me nerves. Who's there? Some girl elf wandering in me smitty? Not sure. <laughs> what can I do for you, girl? Yeah, I don't think <laughs> she appreciates being called a girl. He meant no offense. I think she is going to be polite with him, especially if they're going to do business, but uh, also he is a famous blacksmith. So I think she'd like to first see what he has for sale. I think uh, Bernard was offering about 200 some gold for the pommel. 
I'd be not selling you anything. <laughs> I'd be the finest blacksmith in Athkatla, and I works on commission only. I can make most anything you desire. Alright. So asking now uh, what he does make then. Armor from the scales of Basilisk. A helmet from a cockatrice. Items to put fear into the hearts of the bloody gods themselves. Ha! <laughs> All right, so saying he just needs the ingredients and then he can forge an item of power. Well, I guess uh, trying to show him the pommel jewel. You've part of some sword here, is it? Let me see. Hmm. A pretty enough pommel gem, but without the blade or the hilt of the weapon, I cannot forge it into one piece for you. Alright, so we need the blade and the hilt. And I think, uh... It's probably obvious that if we were to wait on the chance of finding the blade and the hilt, it would obviously fetch uh, a lot more than 200 gold. So I think she's going to hold on to it as uh, an investment. We're not going to search for the hilt or the blade, but I think on the chance that we do find them, All right. At least we know that. So we're looking for two other pieces if uh, we happen upon them. This piece, uh, I think, was yeah recovered from, well, the Underdark. So we might expect to find the other pieces there. So I guess uh, we'll keep an eye out. Maybe scavenge a little bit more if we find ourselves in the Underdog. What? I think Yoshimo's gonna sp me? Just speak with his fisherman. <laughs> Good business to you. So the nobleman. What was his name? Czar? He was down by the da docks last I saw him, looking to employ people like yourselves. Czar. Really used to know a czar, but we don't think it's the same one. to employ people like yourselves. Well, it sounds like a lead on work if we wanted it, but, uh... Yes? Down to the shipyard docks. I think he meant over here. I think it's still early enough. Probably look at that. Kind of doubts that she would take a job. Here's a ruffian. Nothing like some time ashore. Because uh, she doubts that anyone hanging out in the docks, even if they're a nobleman, <laughs> would have enough coin to maybe uh, to pay her what she would want. Here's a sailor. Here's a fisherman. I don't think we'll like leave. some time ashore. All I need I am is ready. a good ass on you. What is it? What do you need? I am skilled in avoidance. Good business to you. The thieves have finally stolen my fishing boat. What in blazes am I supposed to do now? <laughs> okay. We don't see a czar unless, uh... Talking about the sailor. Doubt it. Nothing like some time ashore. All I need is some bro The seas are sure rough this time of year. Well, apparently his ship is gonna leave harbor in an hour. Alright. 
Well, Lily's not gonna hunt down uh, a noble named Zohar. What? So I think, uh... Let's see if we can't stay in the tavern, I guess. So, Alright, looks like there's an upstairs and a downstairs. And uh, I think we're in the wrong... ...area. Here we go. Yeah, here am I, darling. So good to see you. Won't you come sit and chat a while? That's the voice of Baron Ployer. Recognizing Jahira doesn't sound good. I, I am sorry. Do I know you? My name is Ployer, Baron Ployer, of the Kalimshan Ployers? I think he's surprised that uh, Jahira doesn't remember him. Asking uh, what he does. <laughs> it sounds like he's getting uh, offended. My name means nothing? You ruined me. Not remembering is an even greater insult. You are why I'm destitute today. 